Yes, okay, it's, it's a bit of a slow week in terms of movie stuff for me. Then someone asked what I thought about the Zac Efron, Ted Bundy movie trailer, and I was like, all right, let's check it out. So I watched it and I was like, all right. And then I read the comments and holy shit. Then I went down the rabbit hole and I was like, holy shit. So Zac Efron is playing Ted Bundy in a movie coming out. This movie has a trailer and the trailer, admittedly, when I saw the trailer, I was like, that tone's a bit lighthearted. It kind of comes across as like a heist movie vibe. At first, it kind of threw me off. I'm gagged and you're not. I wonder whether he did it or not. I'm more popular than Disney World. And if that was all people had a problem with, that would be the conversation. Like, oh, the tone's a little weird, but I guess we'll just check it out when the movie comes out. We'll see for sure. It's probably Ted Bundy's portrayal in the trailer as well as the tone that mixes into it. But the outrage is that they're glorifying Ted Bundy and his serial killings of women. Ted Bundy, as he's portrayed in the trailer, comes across as a likable, charismatic dude. Some tweeters, some with some pretty large followings were like, oh, the wink, they're sexualizing Ted Bundy, the wink. <laughs> like, that's, that's Ted Ted Bundy. How do you think he had the opportunity to kill all those women? You think he was some socially awkward asshole hanging out in Mama Fratelli's basement eating baby Ruths? No. I mean, the guy acted as his own representation in his trial. Like, this is the narcissism we're dealing with here. He was his own lawyer. You want a lawyer who's better than you? Nope, I'll do it myself. I'm that good. So I have no doubt he'd fucking wink at somebody in the courtroom. And if he didn't actually literally wink at someone in the courtroom, it's a portrayal to illustrate a point. It's a portrayal to illustrate the mindset. I don't know, I just, I agree. You want to accurately portray Ted Bundy for the monster he was, and that's what they're doing. They're accurately portraying him as a charming, charismatic asshole whose charm and charisma allotted him the opportunity to be a monster. In fact, this outrage just makes me look forward to it more, because it's like, you so accurately represented Ted Bundy that it makes people uncomfortable. I think I get why it makes people uncomfortable, though. I feel like Ted Bundy's a monster. Unanimously agreed he was a monster. Therefore, we like seeing monsters, how monsters should be, which is monstrous. We like seeing the idealized version of a monster. We want to see Ted Bundy all like, yeah, I'm a monster. That would make people more comfortable. People are uncomfortable seeing the normal side of a serial killer. You know, the charming side. Seeing the human side. It's like, no, oh, he's not human. That's not how monsters are supposed to act. Fact is, if monsters looked and acted like monsters, then they would rarely be afforded the opportunity to be monstrous. I mean, we have ourselves here a spider. If you paint that spider like anything other than a spider, you're doing the victims a disservice service. This particular spider was generally likable. You have to show that. It might make some people uncomfortable, but it's reality. Now granted, the tone of the trailer threw me off at first. I was like, oh, that was a lighthearted tone for this. In fact, it kind of had a Tarantino movie trailer vibe to it, which is also another interesting conversation because Quentin Tarantino is doing the movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which is about the Manson murder. So when that trailer comes out, if it has a Tarantino-esque tone to it, is it going to get the same kind of backlash? So now I'm interested to see what happens when Once Upon a Time in Hollywood comes out. But in a world, in the world of all this outrage culture, I just feel like like feelings supersede facts. Accurately representing something only matters if it doesn't offend people, and if it offends people, you can't accurately represent something or someone. I don't know, just in terms of being accurate or being loved, I'd rather be accurate. It's a pretty slippery slope if you fudge history for the sake of feelings. And I think it's bullshit and outrage that comes from people not understanding how Ted Bundy was able to be what we know as Ted Bundy, which is the serial killer who killed a lot of women. He got it from being this dude. He didn't get it from being this dude. I don't know, that's my rant on the subject, and that's your video for today. My thoughts on the world and stupid shit in it. But the new Ted Bundy trailer, have you seen it? What did you think about it? What do you think of the portrayal of Ted Bundy? And the tone of the trailer in general? Whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.